Welcome to the Shot Glass Podcast, where we talk about local news, world news, you know, hot topics of the week, yep. and play some games. I am your boy, Pyro. And I'm your co-host, Sunny P. And the P stands for Patreon. Subscribe to her Patreon if y'all want to see her do something strange for a piece of change. You know what? <laughs> I hope it's more than $40. <laughs> okay, so we going to um, pick a shot glass. All of them have cities on them, so we gonna pick one, and then you drew out the bucket last week. So yes, it's I'm your draw turn the this, week. this week. Yes. So what right. city are you picking? Um, I want to go with Atlantic City. Okay. Pick, All right. Pick your shot glass. Atlantic City, and you know I'm gonna fuck with New York. I'm a, I'm a New, New York shot York. glass motherfucking. Have an ass nigga. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are about to see. Oh, we pull names out of this. I mean, cities out of this um, container. So if you got a shot glass and we pull the city, you got to take full shots the whole podcast. If you don't, you can take baby shots, whatever. I, mean, I ain't trying to force nobody to drink. Yeah, sometimes he likes to grab the bitch bar. It's okay. Hey. Hey. I, you know what I pulled last week? Got all four. And the city is Atlantic <laughs> City. <laughs> so Sunny P will be taking four shots the whole podcast. All right. Don't pour me no shots. <laughs> I ain't I ain't in the boat with you. So we're not yeah. gonna don't do that. He was not driving. Okay. <laughs> I'm not understand. in the boat with you. you. Ladies first. Go ahead and pour your shot up. Uh, and what is this that we are drinking? Um, the name of the tequila doesn't matter. It is tequila reposado, but we're not gonna promote any brands unless they're local or we getting paid to do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? I'm gonna just say this is my full shot. So, okay. Here you go. Yeah, that's that's full. I ain't, I ain't got no complaints with that. <laughs> it ain't like I gotta take a shot. All right. <laughs> I am taking a full shot just to let you the know. The first time. <laughs> shot glass podcast. So, um, what you want to talk about first? Oh, that tastes like vanilla. It do. It has a hint of vanilla in there. That's very smooth, though. It wasn't no, like, I thought I was going to make a face. I didn't. I probably don't even need this water. That was real good. I always make a face, but it definitely was, um, it was smooth. Um. Fuck, I'm going to go ahead and tell the people what it was. Um, that's 818 tequila. Okay. 818 tequila in there, folks. All right. Um, we just tap on the topic of how was your week this week? Um, well, didn't really do anything for the 4th of July because of all the protests and stuff mm-hmm. going on mm-hmm. around here. Yes. Um, last weekend, we went to the Great Wolf Lodge. Shout out to them. Great place. A little on the expensive side, but definitely worth it. Yeah, definitely a good place to take the kids. My son's birthday was um on Sunday. so Happy birthday. We went there on Saturday. You know what I mean? Came back. Did really nothing on Monday at all. Played yeah. the Oculus, and besides that, the week went by pretty fast yeah, to me. Yeah, it definitely went by pretty fast. It was um other than... I just wasn't in the mood. I appreciate you for asking me how my week has been. Of (laughs) course. You matter, okay? Um, This week definitely went by fast. Um, It was a lot and is still a lot going on in the city. Justice for Jalen. And um, I definitely was not going to even bother with celebrating the 4th of July holiday. I just, I wasn't there. 
Okay, since we on the Jalen Walker thing, let's just stay there for a second because since the last time we've done a podcast, mm -hmm. the video footage has come out of the killing. Yes. So, like, what was your take on that? Um, I was outraged. I was angry. I was heartbroken. Just she as she cried, I definitely cried. Um, just a mother who has sons, like it made me fear just so much more than what I already just have my own fears with now with, you know, our young black men, our kings that we're raising. Like, it just, it's sad. Like, it, it really just outraged me. And I'm very angry and upset. So we're going to just leave that alone because I get emotional. I can start crying now. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to say it was a lot of police misconduct. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. those officers involved should be arrested and charged criminally for his murder. Like there, there is no way it's eight of y'all and y'all should be emptying y'all clips like that. Yeah. It's no, it's no reason for that. Yeah. Justice for Jalen Walker. I, I don't mind people riding. Hey, when you, when you protest peacefully, nothing really gets done. Yeah, and let let's just be honest about that. That's very true. Shit don't get done when you protest peacefully. So I mean, if y'all gotta tear up some businesses, businesses are insured. You know, it's a lot of back and forth with that subject alone of people being saying that we don't need to destroy these businesses, but other people, on the other hand, saying sometimes you have to hit them where it hurts, which is in their pockets. That's when they get mad. Hell That's yeah. when they get upset. And um, my whole thing is everybody is going to react differently everybody's going to show their support or the way that they feel about this issue differently we're not all going to do the same thing some of you might want to be peaceful and some of you are tired are motherfucking tired and my point that um from even saying that is i understand both sides you can't keep doing the same thing and expect, expect the same yes expect yes different results yes that's what they call that insanity can't you just can't do it it's not it's not gonna happen i agree but okay I don't know if you've seen it, but some guy, what is his name, Freddie something? Hold on, let me try to find it on Facebook. I believe it's Freddie Robbins. Um, I saw bits and pieces about it. Okay, so basically it's a guy on Facebook mm -hmm. making, uh, let me see, because I, I screenshotted this. Okay, he was making screenshots. Well, he was ma he was making T-shirts. Okay. And say, play stupid games, win stupid prizes, don't die, comply. And he was basically saying like, don't be like Jalen Walker. That is ignorant. It's it's, it's very that fucking is, disrespectful. That is ignorant and disrespectful beyond words. And um, I I want to call him so many different names, but I'm not. I don't want to stoop down to people's level. Yeah, his name is Freddie Robbins. Yeah, you raggedy bitch. Like, why? That's just, racism is just not going to stop. It's not. It's not. And I don't know if you are trying to, what is it, like, poke the bear, if you want to make things worse. But it's like, you're going to find yourself in a situation you keep on fucking playing. Because it's one thing that the internet knows how to do is to find people and to look people up. Um, I want oh, to also, they, they already I want to also on touch there. on that because they definitely did look his address up and say where he stayed at. But I also saw a woman who says that she currently stays at that address and he hasn't lived there for over 15 years. And she said that she stays there now. But like I said, what the internet is going to do or what people got time today Some, to do is to look into him. shit. Yeah. No, they saying that she very well knows him. They went into furthermore screenshot and I guess post that she had put up where he commented on her post. So yeah. they know each other. Yeah. So regardless of whether he stays there or not, bitch, know you know where he, he at. Yeah. And she also makes shirts as well. Little bitch well i'm pretty sure they probably in cahoots again. yeah so. i don't i don't know what gave him the caucasity mm -hmm. to think it was okay mm -hmm. for him to do some shit mm -hmm. like that especially at this time exactly um condolences to the family our prayers are with you the our officers should be arrested mm -hmm. and y'all should they should get the max penalty whatever it is for what they've done they should get the motherfucking max penalty for that shit. I agree. And I think something should happen to this this guy trying to
poke fun at this situation because it's not funny at all. Yeah, at all. Definitely needs to face some sort of criminal action or something. Some sort of consequence. Yeah, definitely. So, um, let's just segue on to the next big thing that happened in recent news. Oh, my. It was a DoorDash glitch yesterday. I hope that you guys took advantage of it and got you some free DoorDash. Well... I'm pretty sure a lot of people did, and not just around here, all, all over, over the, the world. world. Hell oh, okay. yeah. Not just yeah. the city, Craig. The, the world. world. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm always missing things like this, or I'm too scary to indulge. Mm. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not hating on nobody that did this shit. Get what the fuck you can. Shit. Yeah. But, you know, there's a consequence with everything. Sometimes it ain't. So shit, get, I heard that some, that some shit. people, even though they did that stuff and they were doing it for free, some people like were getting charged. Their car was getting charged today. So yeah, door don't know if maybe up. they like yeah, we caught on and we gonna well, get everybody that did it. I but. seen I seen one girl telling everybody fight like, from the get go to use an expired card. Uh, yeah, because they're definitely gonna try and get their money back. Yeah, definitely. And I also want to uh, yeah, DoorDash was making some comments. <laughs> Um, y'all yelling free food today, but y'all gonna be screaming free me tomorrow. DoorDash put that on they on their Facebook page. Oh, that's funny, cause they probably depend on how much people order. They could probably seek some sort of like y'all all action. Y'all all going to jail behind my company name on baby dashing them. Oh shut! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, they're gonna get their money back. Just point blank. I don't care. They probably have it to give away. <coughs> Excuse me. They probably have it to give away, but they still want their money. Now is the time to get all them kids Happy Meals. Uh, hello. <laughs> Shout out to DoorDash, man. Let's um, talk about that too, little lion, little heifer. And I just wanted to say, um, a guy on Facebook, Mr. Timothy Waddle, um... He orders from DoorDash, and the police showed up with the DoorDash delivery, and he was running, and he dropped his phone. So an officer grabbed his phone and posted a, a, a selfie of him, and it said, Hey, Mr. Waddle, or Waddell, you dropped your phone when you decided to take off for me, so I'll be waiting for you at the, the police department to, to discuss this DoorDash situation. Enjoy your last meal. Winking face. Oh, uh, well, I mean, he probably could still just get another phone. This nigga had posted, oh, my God, I don't order all this food from DoorDash. Why they pull up with the police? Yeah, I, I feel like they probably wanted that man for something else. And they took that opportunity to go and fuck with him. It was definitely something else. With I don't know if y'all can see this cop's face, but... <laughs> That's definitely who took a, uh, a <laughs> selfie with his phone. Oh, my goodness. Posted it on Facebook. Posted on the corner. <laughs> Posted it. Yeah. So, shout out to DoorDash and everybody that um got free food yesterday who didn't get charged. Who, who didn't get caught. Who was smart enough to use a fake card. Shout out to you. Card. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm just mad I ain't get nothing. Hello. I don't ever order from DoorDash. I cook, so. Hey, there you go. Let's move on. Um, what is the subject that you have? Um, Rhode Island senator. Okay. Let me see. Let me go over here. Rhode Island senator Tierra Mack responds following intense backlash of her twerking in a bikini to encourage voting. Um. Before we even get into this, like, people do so much that's probably worse to encourage people to come out to vote. If she can reach a broader audience because someone is paying attention to what she's doing in this video and she gets the vote, shout out to you, sis, okay? Go ahead and shake that thing. Let me let me go to the shorty people. Let me see, okay? Hold on. She's just trying to get her votes up. Like, it wasn't like she was doing it for somebody to vote for her at a club like she wants to be a senator i hope you get all the votes too let me see get this together for y'all real quick okay so here we are yes we this are. is her okay 
All right. The Rhode Island Senator. Let's see if we can see the twerk video. Do they got it on here? It says, Woo! Social media has been in an uproar regarding Rhode Island Senator Tierra Mack, <laughs> who recently posted a risk TikTok video in effort to secure <laughs> votes. It says risque. Oh, risque. <laughs> oh, she fancy. Risque. Right. A risque TikTok video in effort to secure votes. Tierra Mack decided to post a short video of herself twerking in a bikini <coughs> upside down. She was pussy popping on a, on a handstand. handstand. And if she will do that to get <laughs> your vote, what is she going to do for you when she gets in office? Go ahead, girl. And the response was likely the opposite of what she intended. People hating. Damn. Twerking upside down really makes the conservative unhinged internet accounts pop off on the Monday. Can the media cover any policy wins? Man, this shit look crazy to me. Wins have by the youngest black senator state in Rhode Island. As a black queer woman, you all should know the answer is no. Let them carry on with their narrative. MC, I'm going to be joyful. Wait a minute. She's queer? I mean, it doesn't matter if no, she's no, gay or no, not. She no, can still no, shake no, that ass. No, no, oh. no, no. Because if she's queer, to do that is going out of the fucking way. Why? Because she's queer. So a queer woman can't shake her ass? Would a queer woman shake her ass? Probably so. Because the same type of shit that a man fucking likes, another fucking woman probably likes hey, the I same mean, thing. Go ahead and I need, pop it, bitch. I, I need to know more context in this. Like, what's queer? Like, she's a femme or like, she's I a stud? Like, I don't know, but I don't... And, and I just really feel like this wordplay, before I even see this video, this wordplay is ridiculous. Like, y'all are just dragging it. And I feel like it's just... It's probably... Y'all, the words that y'all use are making it worse than what it really is. Okay, like, yeah, can I, I see that? Lie. She got a little fatty. Yeah, little, she got a little... little yeah, she got like a <laughs> <laughs> she definitely don't like that first picture we were seeing. Well, most people don't. I mean, shit. You're not gonna. You're not gonna always see somebody in the best light. Like, what? What was her whole thing to get people to vote? Like, what was her like slogan for this? I don't know, but it's like, what are we doing now? We're talking about her. Like, she made it, and she's viral to a point that we're this. This is a topic. So, what the fuck is the population in Rhode Island? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, man, shout out to you. Yes. <laughs> and shout out to you. Throw that thing we... in a circle because is, is the video. She got people looking who she probably wouldn't even entertain in real life by her sexual preference. So I, I don't know. I ain't, don't let me, don't get me started. I just want to know if it's a video. Like, is it just this? It's not a video? It's a video, but I will have to sign in. Um, I'm doing that. I'm okay. not doing that. I mean, you can really go to her page on Instagram. Okay, I got you there. All right, moving on to the next news topic. Let's talk about this bum ass motherfucker, Eric Holder, found guilty on first degree murder of oh, Nipsey Hussle. Bitch. Now, before we go on to this, I want to say I think his lawyer was trying to call it a, a crime of passion or a passion crime for some reason because his girl was there or some shit like that. Like, that was their defense that to get him less time for doing what he did. That's excuses. I yeah. mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not even hearing that. You, you sound fucking... You sound dumb. It's, he he should have got murdered. You sound dumb. I, I'm sorry. Wait, let me... Let me um. <laughs> he should have got convicted of murder. <laughs> um, are they saying facing life a lifetime in prison? So they gave him life. Yeah, it says a verdict has finally been reached in the trial of Eric Holder, who has been found guilty of first degree murder in the death of the late Nipsey Hussle. In a trial that only started last week, Eric Holder is now facing lifetime in prison for tragically taking the life of Nipsey Hussle back in 2019. 
Following a jury deliberation that lasted six hours, Eric Holder was officially found guilty of first-degree murder for the fatal shooting of Nipsey Hussle back in March of 2019. Additionally, Holder was also charged with two count other counts of attempted first-degree murder because two bystanders were hit by gunfire during the shooting. Damn. However, the jury decided to find him guilty on of two counts of attempted voluntary manslaughter for those charges instead. Yeah, you got, or they probably should have gave him the, the chair. Through it, Addy. The injection or something. Now, yeah, he's raggedy. They did, I think they pre-prolonged uh, his trial because he had got beat up before that. Mm-hmm, definitely did. He got his ass whooped, and as he should. Definitely should have got his butt whooped. Let me see if I can find this real quick. Because he had, like, old girl had the peach on her butt twerking upside mm -hmm, down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had that motherfucker on his eye. <laughs> I'm still trying to find that video of her doing that. Okay, so this is him. Let me see his eye. Where is eye at? Oh. Lord. He don't look as bad as he should have. He should have been... Scraped up. You you did get knotted though. Yeah. Should like all oh, right there by his ear and the side of his face and his eye. Yeah, his whole and his side jaw. of his face. Was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he should have definitely got. He looked like the Santa Claus from uh Friday, Friday. after the next. <laughs> after they beat him up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, he gets no sympathy for me. You get everything you deserve. Matter of fact, we gonna put you in the same bucket. With the fucking cops that killed Jalen Walker. Now let's move on to the next scumbag, Derek Chauvin. Sentenced to 21 years in prison after being found guilty of violating George Floyd's civil rights. Mm. Ain't that some shit? He should also be thrown underneath the jail. I don't think he should even have 21 years. He should have life. Scum bucket. Little bitch. Um, despite already serving 22 years for the murder of George Floyd, Derek Chauvin, Chauvin, is it Chauvin? No, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Was hit with another hefty prison sentence. Earlier today, a judge sentenced Derek Chauvin to 21 years in prison after he was found guilty of violating George Floyd's civil rights. During a recent court appearance, former Minneapolis police officer and convicted murderer, Derek Chauvin was sentenced to 21 years or 245 months in prison yeah, for violating it does for violating the civil rights of George Floyd. Of the 245 months sentence, seven months were subtracted for time served. U.S. attorneys have requested that the court run Chauvin's sentence concurrently no. with his state sentence no. and the death of Floyd. Yeah, kiss my no. ass. No, you need to get both of them motherfucking sentences. After another, you they didn't charge them at the same time, mm -hmm. so why you gonna let them uh, well, serve yeah. them at the same time? No, yeah, I agree. Frick that, I agree. Frick it, frick it, frick it. You should have to do frick this, it. and then they're like, Oh, yep, here go the rest of this. So, All right, yeah. let's let's move on to some um, to some positive news, man. Yes, well, yes, yes. well let's we got one more kind of bad thing to talk about. Oh, my goodness. This is Brittany Grinder situation. Oh, yeah. She is still in the Russian jail. Now, do you hear what she has said? Did you hear what she said earlier this week? About if it was LeBron James, no, they would have got him already? I did not, but that's probably true. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say... It's probably it's, true. It's, it's not true. Yeah, bullshit. It's not true. Bullshit. It's not, first of all, LeBron James wouldn't have did no stupid shit like that. Like, was it really worth it? Like, accountability, okay. Maybe they are being unfair to her. But her going on basically, quote, unquote, enemy soil, trying to sneak contraband in there, you taking a risk. Um, I know that different places, different rules apply yes. when it comes to um, certain uses that you have or certain things that you do. So her having a vape, like, here is like... Not the that not big, a big of a deal. fucking deal. It's not a big deal. But to them, I guess it is. I don't know. For me, I just feel like they want to make an example out of her. I don't feel like it's that big of a deal. It's it's, I, it's stupid. I don't even think they want to make an example out I of do. her. I think it's just because we at odds with them right now. 
Like which we, is why we they want to make an example. We got we got <laughs> sanctions on them, which is why gas is so freaking high. Right, but just that shit to the hence ceiling. my point. Um, <clears throat> it says attorney for incarcerated Russian arms dealer Victor Bout reportedly says that Brittany Griner could be released in exchange for Bout's imprisonment in Russia. So is he not in Russia? Like, is he here and we have him? And they just want to do a switchy swap Now, would they really do that? I mean, if they want him that bad, they probably wouldn't. What the fuck did um, Victor do? The ongoing legal saga of WNBA, um, excuse me, WNBA star I Brittany Griner too. continues <laughs> to produce interesting updates. At the latest, involves her freedom in exchange for a notorious criminal. According to recent reports, the attorney for incarcerated arms dealer Victor Bout says that Brittany Griner could be released in exchange for his client's imprisonment in Russia. Hey, I just want to say he got a he got a fire name. Victor, Victor Bout. Bout. Yeah. <laughs> he bought that. <laughs> the U.S. attorney for currently incarcerated arms dealer Victor Bout recently stated that Moscow, Russia is prepared to release Brittany Griner from custody if the U.S. government agrees to a prisoner swap with Victor Bout. Bout is currently serving a 25 year sentence in the U.S. for his severe crimes that earned him the nickname The Merchant, Merchant of, of Death. Death. Oh. <sighs> is Damn. this really worth it? You got caught for weed, and he's called the Merchant of Death. He served 25 years. <laughs> they just keeping her. They, that probably was a ploy all along. Um, they going to use him for yeah, something else. Something. That's crazy. Speaking about the potential prisoner swap, um, the attorney spoke on the process saying it really isn't complicated. The initial discussions of a prisoner swap involving Brittany Griner and Victor Bout began just shortly after she was detained. As a former diplomat and New Mexico governor, so they knew. Bill Richardson was asked, I'm sorry, okay. Oh, shit was asked to help with the process due to his experience with international hostage negoci negotiations. However, it should be noted that as of now, there has not been an official statement or confirmation from the Russian government that a prisoner exchange for the freedom of Brittany Griner is in the works. Damn. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's something else at hand with this, and I don't know what it is. Free. Britney Grinder. Please I mean, free her. Shit. And uh, I don't know. I'm about to really like after this look into what the fuck is Victor, Victor Bout out here yeah. doing? Do what is Victor know? Bout? For real. What happened? What's, what's Victor Bout? Why is he the merchant of death? <laughs> I need I need to know what's going on. What is Victor Bout? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> what is he about? What exactly. was he doing? Victor, what you about? <laughs> what was he about? Man, free her. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think it's fair to release a, a murderer if that's what they're trying to accuse him of. We don't know. We're going to look into it more. Yeah, but to exchange him for somebody just had a vape is like <laughs> what? Let's take another shot, babe. Right. Let's get it up in this bottle. I'm really going to look that up. I am intrigued, y'all. You know, us women, we be watching. Well, I watch, and most, a lot of women I know watch, like, the Murder Mysteries, the First 48, the Cold Case Files, Forensic Files, um, you know, the, the Neighbor Next Door, like, we watch all this shit, so I am, I need to know what the fuck Victor about. Okay, while you pouring your shot, I'm gonna just go ahead and read this next one. Sesame Street Workshop releases new PSA, sharing that Elmo has now received the COVID-9 vaccine. Get the fuck. Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Elmo got the COVID shot. Oh. Is this is is this trying to like convince little kids? Yes. To Cause you know they just approved the vaccine for like younger kids. So they're like, hey, if Elmo oh got, got it. it. <laughs> the this fuck? Is, that's, that's crazy. Get the fuck out of here. This is crazy. As the conversation surrounding parents having their young children vaccinated against COVID-19 continues. Sesame Street released a new PSA on Tuesday announcing that Elmo is now vaccinated against the virus. According to CNN, the announcement was issued by Sesame Street Workshop, which is a nonprofit educational organization behind Sesame Street. In the announcement, Elmo appears alongside his father, Louie. He had a dad. I was about to just say the same thing. Who the... 
I was today years old. Listen, you and me both. Got a name? His name I is Louie. As he describes his experience of getting the vaccine. What? Was it safe? Was it the right decision? I talked to our pediatrician so I could make the right choice. I learned that Elmo getting vaccinated is the best way to keep himself, our friends, neighbors, and everyone else healthy and enjoying the things they love to do. Wow. Um, what? They, oh, they got That's a whole episode. Dad? Yes. I never. Let me. Um. I never knew. I never knew Elmo. I mean, I, 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 mean, don't, I never I knew. I don't know if the viewers ever saw Elmo's dad. I'm going to show y'all real quick. <laughs> y'all see this? This is Elmo's dad. I've, I was today, today years old. Today years old. I was today years old. They got a video on YouTube. Uh, Elmo gets COVID-19 vaccine PSA. I feel like that's, that's, that's kind of funny. Elmo getting the, the vaccine. Wow. Shot glass podcast. Well, you learn something new. Mm, mm, mm. Very informative. That's not bad. I do get that <sighs> vanilla yes. or cocoa or something. It's definitely hitting me with the the warm vanilla bean. It's giving me like the black bottle of Casamigos, the black label bottle. No. Kinda. To, I don't to get me. That. To me. Yeah. And that's not smooth. My taste buds is different. Yeah. I ain't talking about the reposado. I'm talking about the black uh, Casamigos with yeah. the black label. Yeah, no. I don't, I don't get that. All right, in other news, Simone Biles becomes the youngest person to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Right. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Simone you. Biles. Yes, black queen. Making black history, queen. man. She, yes. she got her own gymnastics move called the Biles, which is like a double, triple, summer kick, flip, shove yeah. it up your ass. I don't know. Okay. okay. I don't know. Fuck it up then, sis. Go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she is so pretty. Okay, girl. She is. It's so petite. Oh, listen, <laughs> why why is he looking at her like that? Biden I, gives me creepy <laughs> man vibes. What the fuck is going definitely. on here? He is definitely smelling her hair. It he, smells like cocoa butter. Yeah, and blue he, he, magic. Wants to, he wants mm. to touch it. He gives me weird vibes. What the fuck? Why he gotta look like that? <laughs> he probably forgetting what he's doing right now. He's probably <laughs> sleep. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Who is this young lady? Oh my god! Please, Can you please read this article, babe. Oh, that is how you do it. Simone Biles has another accomplishment to add to her long list. Today, the 25-year-old gymnast became the youngest person to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom. President Biden's speech honoring Simone said, When we see her compete, we see unmatched power and determination, grace and daring, a trailblazer, and a role model. Follow um, not like Brittany Grinder. <laughs> Or uh, what's the girl's name that's running track smoking weed? Oh my goodness! Shut up! Um, I can't think of her name. But... Can't think. We let's move past it. <laughs> Following the ceremony, Simone <laughs> took to her Instagram about receiving the medal, writing, "I'm so honored and thankful to be recognized as a recipient by President Biden for this prestigious award. I still have no words. I'm shocked." The Olympian's fiance, Jonathan Owens, also congratulated his woman on the honor on the gram. So what is the Presidential Medal of Freedom? Hold on, I'm going to Google this right quick. What exactly is it? Hey, Google, what is the Presidential Medal of Freedom? According to Wikipedia, the Presidential Medal of Freedom is an award bestowed by the President of the United States to recognize people who have made an especially meritorious contribution to the security or national interests of the United States, world peace, cultural or other significant public or private endeavors. Okay. Okay. I still don't get it, but we can move on. Shout out to Simone Biles, man. Congratulations, sis. That is beautiful. That is great. It's good to have some positive black role models who Mm -hmm. ain't twerking to get votes trying to smuggle drugs into a country we at odds with who ain't all in the videos all in the (laughs) (laughs) shout out to you sis that is a huge and wonderful accomplishment it ain't many out there like you so you are one of a kind 
in other news, let's talk about R. Kelly. Oh, oh to the K, to the E, to the L, L, to the jail. Shut up. <laughs> R. Kelly has been removed from suicide watch following complaints of inhumane treatment. Do you think they really doing Kells like that in jail? Yeah, because they don't play about the kids. And even though these wasn't kids, let's, I don't let's, know. Let's, I, don't, let's, I, don't, I don't know. Let's just, let's just oh, be honest. Damn, Let, look at let's, hold on. Let's just be honest. Like, jail is not a humane place. Oh, you yes, are treated like, you treat it like an animal. So for, so for him, for someone to be at his stature, they got him on 23-hour lockdown mm-hmm. probably. Because he's a high-profile case. You're not a regular population. He's probably going fucking crazy in there. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at him. Goodness. Yeah. Kells, you've been stressing. Definitely a stressing. You look every bit of your age. You ain't got no hair dye. Mm, makeup. Makeup. No nothing. Yep. Yep. You ain't got no Beijing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, they gave it to you raw, just like you gave it to them girls. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> hey, it's even raw. Why don't you go ahead and read that, there, babe? Um, we probably could just skip this. No, I'm, I'm just playing. I'll read it. Um, following complaints from his legal team, as well as himself, R. Kelly has now been officially removed from suicide watch. During a brief court hearing earlier today, prosecutors told a federal judge that the suicide watch prevention had been removed as R. Kelly said that it was an extreme form of punishment that wasn't necessary for him because he is not suicidal despite recently receiving a 30-year prison sentence. Bang, bang. How would you feel if they gave you 30 and you 50? I don't know. I still, I mean... You still have a lot of life to live. Even still, you still have life to live. Like he, he's probably lived his best life, and now you live in your worst. <laughs> you went from the top to the bottom instead of the bottom to the top, yeah. or maybe you went from the bottom to the top and then back down to the bottom. But yeah, it definitely was an up and down. Yeah, ever if, since old girl got yeah. peed on. He's he's been back and forth. He's been back and forth. I agree, but it's it's definitely over for I him. I mean, you know, he he taunted the people a lot, called himself the Pie Piper, mm-hmm. was making songs about it and mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. Hey man, don't drop the soap kills. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't uh, it's, it's crazy. Um, I'm, I mean, you get what you deserve, and he get he definitely got what he deserved on this note. So it's like. I feel like maybe he might understand that. And he like, look, you don't have to put me on suicide watch. I know the fuck I'm in here. I'm not going nowhere. This is what the fuck it is. I mean, he fucked up. But like I said before, the parents need to be held accountable as well. Because y'all knew what the fuck y'all was doing. Letting these kids go with this grown ass man. Just because he was giving y'all a check. But. Yeah. It's always a but. <laughs> yeah. just <laughs> In this case, it was little girls butts. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 sad and it's messed up, but yeah, moving yeah, on. But um, you have anything else you want to cover as far as news that happened this week? Um, I do not. I think we kind of got everything sprinkled on everything on there. Shot glass podcast, man. I got the Facebook page up today. I'm gonna try to get the Twitter going. Catch us on YouTube at <laughs> Cloud Nine Digital Studio LLC. Um, it's, it's a lot of shit on the Cloud9 Digital Studio pages. Music videos, music, podcasts, um, food reviews, all kind mm-hmm. of stuff, man. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. just follow the page. It's, it's a lot for everybody. He's a man of many talents. <laughs> just doing a lot, man. Something got to shake. Hey. I'm going to bake a cake. <laughs> but it ain't going to be for no little kids. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, next shot, next game. All right. I'm really not engaging on Facebook right now. I just went live just to do it. But next episode, I will be engaging. And shout out to everybody that's watching and commenting. We appreciate you because um, I didn't know that you was doing that. <laughs> yeah. Created the Facebook page today. Got to get it going. Um... I'm probably only going to leave the live video up on Facebook until I come out with the video on YouTube. 
You really can't. Like, people will have to sit there. I'll take it into consideration that you have to sit there on your phone the whole time and watch the podcast. Mm -hmm. Or put it on YouTube. You can go to the TV and watch it. Right. Right. Okay. That's that's where my focus is. You can watch it while you're sitting down eating dinner. I mean, a lot of people, y'all might not have TVs. I don't know. Some people might sell their TVs and be like, I got a 10-inch phone, tablet, (laughs) iPad. I don't know. It's devices. I mean, it's enough for kids. Shit. I don't know. Yeah. Be living their best life. <laughs> it's it's mainly the men that have TVs because we like to play video games and stuff. I'm pretty sure if you had to choose between your phone and the TV, you probably could take your phone because you could take it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So definitely, sure. I definitely could. I agree. Shot glass podcast, the most drinkingest, funnest, coolest podcast in the world. I am your boy Pyro. Here with my co-host, Sunny P. P, and a P stand for porn, because she be on OnlyFans. Look her up. Sunny P, U, S, C, on OnlyFans. <laughs> At some point, it's really going to be somebody that looks this shit up. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> yet. <Yeah. coughs> subscription is three ninety nine. It's very cheap right now. Oh, get the fuck out of here. She you do foot fetishes. Thirty nine ninety nine. She play with her butthole beads. All kind of stuff. I'm not in it. That's Definitely the stuff that she do is the brains OnlyFans. behind it. The, Definitely the cameraman. She doing her OnlyFans is Definitely on her. the camera cameraman. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I cannot with you. <laughs> All right, so we gonna get into one of the games. Y'all might not. Y'all. Some of y'all might not know. Some of y'all might. We used to play it on Puffin' Politics. It's called One Gotta Go. Mm-hmm. We just gonna give each other things they gotta choose from. And one gotta go. One got to go. Are you gonna start or you want me to go first? Um, I will go ahead and go first. Oh, God. Sunny P is for procrastination. Because she ain't even ready. I am ready. I just thought I could click on something and go to it. And I can't. I can't I gotta blow it up. So it's gonna be Whoa. one gotta go. And these you are put it on OnlyFans. <laughs> you gonna blow it up. Put it on OnlyFans. Sunny P OnlyFans. One Patreon. gotta go. Subscribe. And this is for <laughs> um like maybe famous movie black couples. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So we got Love Jones, which would be. Darius and Nina, which is um, Nia Long, and I can't and Lorenzo Tate. Okay. We have Love and Basketball, Quincy and Monica, The Best Man, Lance and Mia, and Brown Sugar, which is Sydney and Andre. One gotta go. Do you need to see the pictures just in case you might need to? Because you might just not know these movies. <clears throat> now, if it was the movie. They would have to go. No, nope, it's the couples. Like, which one? One gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna just throw that in. Okay. If it was the movie, they would have to go. It would probably be Love and Basketball. But I would actually... Says that... Lance and Mia probably gotta go. He said that the best man... As them as a couple? Lance and Mia will have to go. Isn't Ooh. the best man where the guy wrote mm. the book? Y- yes, it is. Okay, so did yes, he really is. have sex with the wife or not? That's why they got it. That's why they gotta go. It made the movie. Yeah, okay. get it out of here. Um, for me, Brown Sugar, I know what I'm talking about. It'll be Sydney and Andre only because like I kind of like watched that movie bits and pieces, but it wasn't like a big movie for me, so they could man, go. Man, what's that movie right here? The one I say I gotta go. Best yeah. man. Best man. They had like that shit could have been on Cheaters. Uh, no. <laughs> Shut that up. That shit. The best man could have been on Cheaters. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Infidelity and obstruction and obscenities and insecurities will be finalized at the recognition of the viewers televised. <laughs> All right. Uh, sir, whatever. It's on you. <laughs> I'm using big words like T.I. <laughs> okay. okay yeah. One gotta go. Dorito flavors. And I'm not gonna get too specific with it. Okay, come I'm on. Not, I'm not gonna get too specific with the flavors. One gotta go. 
nacho cheese or cool ranch oh I, for me i'm sorry nacho cheese and goes because cool ranch is my motherfucking favorite Nigga, get the fuck out of here bye sorry not sorry i will definitely go to the store and even though i get both because i know y'all like the um nacho cheese and like the Bruh. little sweet chili yeah bye bruh nacho cheese gotta go yes cool ranch? yes hey kids can y'all hear me who can hear me let me ask you a question one gotta go dorito flavors nacho cheese or cool ranch cool ranch gotta go and you gonna keep nacho cheese you gonna keep it get out of here you, 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 your mama son. son. <laughs> you, your mama son. You, your mama son. Okay. All right, uh, Eric Jones, you said Cool Ranch gotta go. Hey, I agree with you. Can't get rid of the nacho cheese, man. Yeah, like when I'm eating like a taco salad or like some nachos and queso. A taco salad with Cool Ranch? Yes, or some nachos with some queso, queso cheese. Get the fuck out of here, yeah. With the cheese Doritos? Yes, I need. Mean, taco? Yes, ranch. Get ranch Doritos. Tea. G T F O H, please. Get the fuck out of here. Please. No. ASAP. Uh, nope. ASAP. Nope. Yeah, the purple bag is the best. But that's what my son, like, that's the favorite. His fucking purple bag. I don't know. Like, that's nasty. That's why I didn't put it in there because I could have put the flaming Doritos and a purple nope, bag in there. Nope, don't like them but... either. Nope, they all can go. Yeah, flaming hot, you can purple. Go. She. It's she, not your cheese. They can all go. She I like eat liver fucking... and onions. Yeah. And Scrapple. I love Scrapple. And Beats. First of all, people don't know what Scrapple is. I have had Beats. <laughs> she eats Spam. No, I don't. No, I no, don't. No, the fuck I don't. Yes, you do. No, the fuck Sunny I don't. Sunny P eats Spam. I definitely don't. You was a whole ass lie. <laughs> I can't take you. <laughs> cool Ranch whole... gotta go, man. Cool okay, Ranch well, gotta go. The fuck? It's, it's on you. All right. <laughs> One gotta go. Hood movies. Nigga movies. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. Straight out of Compton. ATL. Get Rich or Die Trying or 8 Mile? And before you answer this, because you might have to think on this. No, I don't. I'm going to tell you what can go for me. And I'm straight out of Blah, 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 blah. Somebody's probably going to say something. I never even watched to this day and don't care. Get Rich or Die Trying can go. Bye. Don't care. That's respectable. That's respectable. But did you say ATL? Mm-hmm. I don't feel like ATL... You know, like that, like a and movie? Eight Mile are in the same like genre as far as like movies. Doesn't really matter what you think if it's in the genre or not. These okay, well the I'm gonna. I gave you, babe. I'm, I'm go yeah. All right. Okay. Well, damn. Sunny P stands for she about to get punched. <laughs> <laughs> not. I don't lie. Y'all want to see me punch Sunny P right now? <laughs> not. Not. And y'all motherfuckers that answer gonna get punched your damn self because not. What was the question again? What? Straight out of Compton, okay. ATL, get rich or die trying, or eight mile. One gotta go. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you. Get rich or die trying, gotta go. Because okay. I like this straight out of Compton. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Ice Cube mm -hmm. for putting his son, playing him. Definitely. And he kind of favors him. Definitely. And he's, he's not a bad actor. So. I agree. I, I, I fucks with it. And then the whole making the straight out of Compton was kind of iconic. Suge Knight pulled up. Mm -hmm. Ran motherfuckers over all kind of shit that can't go. Eight Mile was like the first battle rap movie. Right. ATL made niggas want to skate for like two, three years. Definitely <laughs> did. Definitely did. So I fucks with it. Mm -hmm. My dude said ATL gotta go. Why? What is your Ooh. reason for saying ATL gotta go? He probably what? never roller skated. <laughs> he was a nigga at Rockies falling <laughs> when you come by the front. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, it um, one gotta go. Mm -hmm. People who you would get chased by in a movie: Jason or Michael Myers. Or do 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 do. One gotta go. One gotta go. Jason or Michael Myers. I'm gonna say. Michael Myers can go because he that, that motherfucker don't quit. He know all the shortcuts. I, but he don't fucking quit. I don't care Neither if you fucking. Run. Well, I'd rather get fucking. I'd rather deal with him than fucking deal with Michael Myers. 
He don't quit. Like he keep coming back. He don't fucking quit. He don't. Yes. He no. said. He said. Uh, ATL was whack to him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Compared, shout, I think Get Your Diet Trying was a little whacker. <laughs> shout out to you if that's your choice, but yeah, um, I would say yeah, I don't want I don't want to deal with Michael Myers, because even when I think everything's okay, it's not. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I yeah. Um, me personally, I'm gonna say Jason got to go. I'd rather run from Michael Myers than Jason. Why he's not gonna fuck? stop I mean when it comes down to it like Michael Myers is kind of like supernatural yeah, but he's still a human not, not really kind of nah we know Jason ain't for sure well how the fuck do we know Jason ain't for sure why cause he been to space and stuff yeah he killed Freddy Freddy uh, can't uh. ever really die cause Freddy come in your dreams I just don't want to hear that sound <laughs> What the fuck is that shit? If I hear that right now during this podcast, this shit is over with. I'm knocking shit over. <laughs> My key's right over there. I'm getting in I'm the car. Out, and I'm going. First, I'm going to the gas station. Because <laughs> I'll be able and to drive. I'm out. I'll go. And then right. I'm out. Right. I agree. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm sorry. I yeah, it's, a, it's on you. It's All on right. you. One gotta go. These are... I don't know whether to say like condiments or maybe like seasonings or dressings or whatever. One gotta go. Okay. Lowry's seasoning salt. Can't go nowhere. Frank's Red Hot. Put that shit on everything. Ranch. Probably. Can go. Lemon pepper. Now factor in. Just for the record. It's a seasoning? Yes. Factor in for the Like you can buy like the. Lemon pepper I seasoning? just made some lemon pepper wings. Y'all's fucking them up. Yes. Let me hear what you got to say first. Because it better not be ranch. Oh, <laughs> no. Hell no. Ranch is not going nowhere. Lemon pepper can go. Because I need my fucking Frank's you, Red Hot. What you going to say? Lowry's got to go? No I, no, I, people. no, I said but I said lemon pepper can go. Because okay. I need my ranch. <laughs> I need pepper. my motherfucking um, hot sauce on certain things. And I fuck with fucking Lowry's. Yeah, I got a fucking can of Lowry's in my fucking cabinet right now. If you Play choose with me. red hot, you got to keep ranch. Because if you got some hot wings and you did yes, that shit in ranch, ranch, that ranch is, is the is, best oh, shit it, ooh, ever. Honey. And Lowry's, you can just season it. Even Hey, white people, the secret is Lowry's. <laughs> if you don't season shit, if you don't got no salt and pepper, no, you don't even got to use none of that shit. Mm-hmm. White people, get some mm-hmm. Lowry's. Yeah, Get some Lowry's. Lowry's. Put it on your chicken. Put, put it on your yes. burgers. Put yes. it in your meatloaf. Get you some Lowry's. And, what else? Uh, and don't be scared of Mrs. Dash. She is your friend. And we talking about Mrs. Dash. We talking about I like Lowry's. I like Lowry's. What what else can people put uh Lowry's on? Chicken, burgers, meatloaf. Every, damn near everything. Man, yes, I'll everything. put Lowry's on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> not on a pin burn jelly. I put that shit on everything. On everything. Okay. <laughs> it is on you. One gotta go. We talking fruity cereals. <laughs> I'm only gonna give you two. One Fruit go. Loops or Fruity Pebbles? Fruit Loops. Toucan Sand? I like fucking Fruity Pebbles. Oh, with Fruit Loops? Yes, and you got to eat the Fruity Pebbles like in the first like two to three minutes. Cause that's why I don't like them. I fucking like That's why pebbles. they can get the fuck out of here from me. Yep. Fruity Pebbles is like flat Rice Krispies. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they fucking are. But I like them little frosted sugary bitches. <laughs> Y'all took all the old ass Rice Krispies. And they make, the, and they make good ass <laughs> Rice Krispie treats too. And season like I don't even think there's a specific flavor of fruity pebbles. They all like, you know how like they Skittles. Got chocolate and then they just got fruity pebbles. Well, I'm saying like <laughs> if you eat all a bowl of red fruity pebbles, yeah, it's not no, gonna taste it's not like, gonna taste. Yeah, yeah, that shit yeah. can go. No, that shit can go. I'm sorry, I'm I'm still sticking with my fucking fruity pebbles. I'm so following my nose. We're going on here too. Two can Sam. I'm be in Hawaii eating my goddamn fruity pebbles while you. I mean my uh fruit loops. Why you eating your flat ass Rice Krispies that's flavored with sugar 
and color. Mm-hmm. I'll be done with yeah, them. They just like fucking frosted flakes. They're just smaller. So, um, yeah. going into go. <laughs> and segueing off of my last questions, what it had to do with hot sauce and ranch and everything else, lemon pepper. Let's go into one gotta go as far as kinds of wings. You got wet, grilled, dry, or crispy. One gotta go. What's crazy is episode two with YD and Deuce. I just asked them the same oh, question. Oh, hey, shout oh, out yeah. to the bro. You gotta do a little more research, babe. Hey, hey. if you... If you, I can go to another question <laughs> if that's what you prefer me to do. It's not no, that big of a deal. I, I can answer it because I don't know your answer. So can you please answer it? Yes, dry could go. First of I all, nothing dry. I hope your eyes get stuck while you're rolling them. If old as you is, she up here doing some goddamn Why teenager shit rolling her eyes so on a goddamn podcast. I've done this for a long, 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 long time. I've been doing this shit since you were shitting in your motherfucking diaper making these goddamn games. Up. I've heard everything. It's not an insult to you. Just a God, come harder, baby. Y'all can catch her coming harder on her Patreon. Her <laughs> only fans. And King, come on. $39.99. I'm about to start it down because, huh? $39.99. You gonna put your glasses yeah, on so you I throw in a lot of shade and I don't like it. <laughs> you rolled your eyes. I did not. It probably was gonna get stuck. But it was not. But moving on hey, we, to the motherfucking. We too old to be rolling our eyes. We gonna fuck around. I can roll them, but I wasn't even. I didn't even fucking know that I did that because I was talking to you. Now, being that you asked this question before to your bros, can you answer the question? The wet One wings gotta, gotta go. go. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wet, grilled, dry, or crispy, and you picked wet. Okay. No, wait, you. wait. Dry. What's we? What's okay? Be specific with me. What's the difference between dry and wet? I'm so <laughs> sorry that you don't know the Catch difference. A <laughs> Holy <fuck. laughs> Let me take these glasses off. I'm so sorry you don't know the difference between dry and wet, but um. Wet would mean that they're sauced. Okay. What if I don't like? What if it's all plain wings, like plain grilled wings? Plain no, grilled, fried grilled wings. is okay. Well, then that's what you would plain. have. It's not what it wouldn't be plain wet wings because they're going to be in some sort of sauce or tossed in something. They're going to be wet. You're going to be licking and sucking your fingers or the bone. Go ahead and say something smart. <laughs> Sunny P stands for pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Follow her on OnlyFans. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all need to get your boy because he getting on my damn um, nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just say the dry gotta go. I don't yeah. want nothing dry. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I don't. I don't know what this means. <laughs> I just don't want nothing dry. Yeah, dry could go for me, but yeah, what is y'all's? Um, choice comment below um, wet grill dry or crispy one gotta go and it is on you one gotta go okay lays the potato chips mm-hmm. flavors sour cream the green bag barbecue the black bag, the classic bag, the yellow one, uh-huh, uh-huh. or salt and vinegar, the blue bag. Yeah, bye. Salt and vinegar, yeah, gotta go. They go get the fuck off. I don't really get them too much anyway. And actually, that and, and sour cream could go, because I don't really eat either one of those either, but I do fuck with the plain. That's because you eat. And barbecue is okay. It's like, it's, it's okay. Liver worst. You eat bratwurst. Liverwurst. Liverwurst. I definitely will put it on a cracker with some mayo Ew, and some cheese. I will fuck eat. it up. Mm-hmm. Our, ta- our taste buds is uh, super extraordinary obsessities. <laughs> she is on this podcast acting different. <laughs> you get a lot of her. No. <laughs> I'm take a shot. Please. Because. You need a minute. <coughs> I don't need you on here acting different. <coughs> you acting like the shit I'm asking you is like bologna sandwiches. Your fucking taste buds is she acting different, y'all. She acting different. When females get in front of that camera, they act different. She was all cool and humble before I started 
press play, record, whatever, whatever. She on this motherfucker acting different. You acting different. I said that you I just put your glasses on and say I was, was throwing, throwing shade. Yep. You rolled your eyes. I was at throwing shade. I did not. You did. I didn't. I'm gonna play that shit back. And can you look like my daughter doing that? And shit. I put my glasses on because I don't want to hear shit. You put your glasses. Yep, because I. Why can't you just let me fucking live? Yep, yes. I put my glasses on because I didn't want to hear the shit. Yes. Sunny P stands for paranormal because what the fuck is going on? Paranormal P. Fuck. Get on my damn nerves with this. What? Why are you trying to look and see what I'm about to ask next? I already saw it. What was it? It was, um. Time, times and music, but I'm I'm not gonna say nothing. I already, I'm going. You already did. I'm going for, for, no, I, they don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. That's not a full shot. Um, yes, the fuck it is. I don't I've know. Been, if you're... I've been taking full shots with you, you. No, first of all, you don't even what? have a full shot. What? Oops. And don't. What? And don't. My shit is just as full as your shit. You got that lazy eye. You better tilt your head so your lazy eye could see evenly. <laughs> I'm about to go back to um um. He gonna be on this little thing by himself. I ain't dealing with you and your bullshit. She'd rather be with me and all my bullshit. I talk shit. <sighs> it's on you. Anybody come on this podcast, I could take a joke. I don't care what you say about me. I probably had everything under the sunset about me. I'm fine with my life. I don't have any insecurities. We could joke. I, y'all can go personal. I'm not going to go personal. I'm going to keep it just jokes. It's your boy Pyro. Here with Sunny P. Subscribe to her Patreon. Or her OnlyFans. <laughs> and her paranormal obscenities. And her business. perplexed taste buds. <laughs> it's on me? I think it's on you. I just asked that with delays, right? Oh, did yeah. you see? You just kept talking so much in between. I thought that maybe I might have went and we moved on because you just <laughs> you acting different <laughs> just out here. Yeah, she be talking to me. She acting different. This is amazing. Um, <clears throat> one gotta go. You a kid again, watching cartoons, eating your favorite cereal. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay, set the whole scene for yeah, me. Yeah, your little kid. Right. Saturday morning? Yes, it is. Ooh! Okay. okay. X-Men. My hands sound ashy. <laughs> they do, but I start a fire. X-Men. Gargoyles. I heard that. Batman or Spider-Man. One gotta go. Gargoyles was a- ass Who ass is this old ass man? This is one of your shit. And why is he trying to cook? <laughs> I'm trying to Facebook call me right now. <laughs> Click off of that because what? I'm going to just leave it up there. Oh, my gosh. Why? And what could you possibly want? <laughs> <laughs> Probably wants to uh, know your OnlyFans link. <laughs> oh, hey. Listen. <laughs> Come on. Give me that retirement. Because I'll take, I'll take it, Pooh. What you want? Here, some feet? Some yeah. fingers? And some baby oil? Come on. What you want? Okay. I'm sorry. You want to see your butt plugs. <laughs> Gargoyles gotta go. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your with your man's? Like y'all get your it's man. You, you I, the drama. I didn't say anything. You the drama. I, I set a mood and a tone for you, and then I asked I who was calling you because somebody's uncle, that. grandpa is calling Listen, you. I'm not paying screen to no attention. You the one <laughs> to put the, sh- the spotlight on it. Yes, he he did. He definitely. I was so like, why? Was like, she why? Seen that. She was like, cha ching. Your man's is right here calling you. I was like, you know we doing a podcast. I'm going to ignore everything until after the podcast. <laughs> she want to point this shit out. Man, OnlyFans. Sunny P-U-S-C. Hey, Grandpa. OnlyFans. P. 
Patreon. Okay, you said that Gargoyles. Yeah, you know. Gargoyles was an ass cartoon. Have you ever watched Gargoyles? Uh, yeah, I think I have watched Did like you think a that was a worthy cartoon of putting in that lineup? I thought it was okay. She acting different. <laughs> Thought it was thought it was okay. <laughs> she acting different. <laughs> Spider Man can go. Hey, Sonny P acting different. <laughs> Y'all get your man's. You was gonna say Spider Man can go over the gargoyles? Yeah, she acting different. I don't even know who this lady is. Oh she my gosh, to. shut up. <laughs> she was just walking down the street and was like, Hey, I seen you doing a podcast, can I get on? I was like, Come on. I really ain't got no calls right now. That's what we're doing. I'm I'm actually today is Friday. I'm actually trying to probably do like three podcasts a week. I'm looking for a co host for a Wednesday or a Sunday or both. So if y'all seeing this, y'all wanna be a co host, y'all wanna come fuck with it, hit me up. Really? Nolan P. Ryan on Facebook. Really? Nolan P. Ryan on Twitter. Oh. The 52 Pyro on mm-hmm. Instagram. Why is you looking I'm like listening. that? I'm listening. See, I was getting my question together. I, I, need, you, I need you to be Coretta Scott, not a city girl. You need to First believe in my all, dream. Nothing about <laughs> me is my dream. Being, nothing about me is being a city girl. And I just said earlier in a podcast oh, that I support you. You're recording. Earlier in this podcast? Yes. High five. I feel like you're about to take it away. No, I'm not. Because, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on your ass while we this podcast and you ain't say that. No, I definitely... In the fucking beginning. Hey. I said, your life matters. I care about you. Come when on, stop playing. I, I don't know. You acting, she acting different. <laughs> I want a whole drinking and dinner when you see what I said. She acting, I'm she like, acting different. I'll give you a drink and a dinner. And we, we can uh, vlog it. Okay. I'm going to review this footage back. If not, you owe me a drink and a dinner. And I'm going to act different. I don't, but okay. I'm going I'm to order some goddamn shrimp and seafood and I calamari. Hope you do. I hope you do. I, hey, I, know you I like, like calamari. It. I know you like it now. Yeah. Yeah, I like calamari. Yeah. I'm not eating the tentacles, the baby yeah, tentacles. I, I know you're not. That's too much like I'm, a baby I, abortions I, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> One got to go. What the? F- <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's under. I don't know. I don't. I don't like the look Please, of it. Please, y'all, come get your man. I like, like the look of it. Get your man. He likes the little oval rings of the calamari. Yes. But when we were in Virginia Beach, they served that as well as like the tentacles. And he like. I don't he, like the shit that look like this. <laughs> he, he definitely didn't eat that. One, one, one gotta go. <laughs> Looks like a broom. <laughs> one gotta go. And the subject is trap rappers. Gucci. Jeezy or T.I. Oh. One, yeah, he was rolling your eyes. You acting different. Y'all, she acting different. Gucci. Jeezy or T.I. One gotta go. Gucci, Jeezy, or T.I. Gucci. I'm a Nemanine, Nemanina. He makes that song. Nemanine? <laughs> yes. You acting <laughs> di- Hey, she acting different. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh shit, you acting different. <laughs> How that song go? Cause what does he say? Diamonds in a chain. Yep. Yeah, I don't even fuck me up now. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I know just for like hood status that Jeezy can't go anywhere. Like, no, I don't really know because I don't. I, or you could just take a shot. Okay, I'll take a shot. Because I, re- I really, now, because I've just recently started listening, like, to Gucci and, like, that song, Miss Davis. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to put him out of it. And I, I, I love me some T.I. I've been, I've been listening to him since, like, Rubber Band Man. So, yeah. I he personally think Paper Trail was his hardest album. He can't go. You know what? Urban Legend was a good one. Yeah. Come yeah. on, you know what? Yeah. I'll take a shot. That nigga had a Chevy, uh, a Chevy Impala commercial. Wow. And let's be honest. Young Jeezy made it cool. That was a good question. Shout out to you. Young Jeezy made, thank you. 
Thank you. Mm-hmm. She ain't acting different no more. She gave she gave credit when it's due. Young Jeezy made it cool for street niggas to rap because you know. Rap was mainly about the craft and being lyrical. And I'm going to personally say in my lifetime, before Jeezy came out and started rapping, it it, it wasn't cool to be a street nigga and be rapping because you was incriminating yourself. Mm-hmm. Now, the, the punchline is, when rappers started being, when street niggas started being rappers, it was like, nigga, I'm really doing this shit that I'm talking. Okay. So you know what I mean. So that's when it be cool. It became cool for street niggas to be rappers. Okay. From that line alone. But I'm gonna take a shot with you. And I ain't taking no fool one because my city didn't get pulled from the motherfucking thing. Okay. Here we go. I stomped her, y'all. Definitely did. Let me let me, let me know what y'all think. Jeezy, Gucci or Ti? One gotta go. Gucci's still relevant, and so is Ti. Yeah. Yeah, but Jeezy just holds a significant place with most of the people in the hip hop community. And shout out to him, he just had a baby. Trap or Die was the most played shit for at least two years. I, I don't remember podcast. shit more played. Grr, Shot Glass podcast. I don't remember more shit played than that besides Fifty Cent's first album. Mm. All right. (laughs) One got to go black TV sitcoms. Martin, Fresh Prince, The Wayne's Brothers, Jamie Foxx. Ooh, I thought you was going to say Family Matters in there somewhere. But no, because some people don't know about Family Matters. Martin can go. Or Fresh Prince. You acting different. Why'd you look at me like I'm that? I'm listening to you. you Fresh <laughs> Prince gotta go. I'm listening for that. Give my answer. I'm Fresh Prince gotta go. Yeah, she acting different. Yo, she acting different. Out of different. Martin, the Wayne's brothers, and Jamie Foxx, yes, for me, the Fresh Prince can go. What is your choice? You babe? acting different. I'm not. Oh my gosh. I literally can watch. I know you can because I've watched you. I know you can, honey. Come on, Pooh. Fresh Tell Prince him. wasn't just a, a TV series. It was it like was a it was like a Bible for black people. Mm-hmm. Will had so much shit that resonated with me. And my, how and come that, my dad and, don't want yeah, me? And that's why how you come he don't want okay. me? <laughs> you acting different. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all comment what y'all feel below. What y'all think can go? Yes, that is my choice, I'm, okay? I'm, and I'm going to say Jamie Foxx got to go. Martin. What? Do, you, do I need to explain why Jamie Foxx got to go? In your eyes, what is it? His co-host was asked. Who? Miles? Um, 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 Braxton? Braxton, right. They can go. I'm the, not, the, I'm the not, other I'm dude, not, I can't I'm not getting rid of name. Cole or Tommy or oh, yeah, Pam yeah. or Gina. Yeah, they not. I'm not getting rid of Ashley, Jazz, or Hillary, Carlton. I'm not getting rid of none of those. I'm not getting rid of Wayne. I mean, uh, I'm not getting rid of Marlon, Sean. What's the little pimp's name? I'm not getting rid of Pops. I'm not getting rid of Pops. What's the little pimp's name? Uh-huh. Or, or D. I'm not getting rid of those for fucking Mouse okay. and Braxton. And fancy, and and, and uh, his uncle Junior. Okay, babe. And Aunt Helen, I fuck with Aunt Helen. Yeah, oh, but I, I, but that's can, your can, choice. Okay, that's I, that's the only reason why, out of these why I'm choosing why Jamie Foxx got to go okay. is because the supporting cast. You okay. asked me about the TV yes, show, not yes. the people in general. Okay, I understand. Boom. Nah, Sonny P by the stand for getting punched. So go ahead and say your shit because you gonna say Fresh Prince got to go, yes. don't you? Get, bro. You acting mm-hmm. different. <clears throat> that that, that you acting different. I don't, I don't know I this lady sitting next to me. I understand the I way that the it. I need co-host because this shit is incredibly. I understand obscene. the way that it resonates <laughs> for you. 
young men, you black kings, I understand, but like I can my thing is what can I if I had to sit here and watch on replay constantly, constantly, constantly you like replay different. I could watch Martin on replay. Yes. I could watch the Wayne's brothers on replay. Yes. I can watch Jamie Foxx on replay because he fucking funny as fuck to me. I'm gonna get tired of the fucking Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Besides that fucking episode with Belle Biv DeVoe and like maybe a few others. Who cares? I can name the, the Mario Van Peebles episode when he was playing basketball. Who cares? Uh, when Ashley got the fucking chair. Oh, she was the, singing the, and, sh- and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah that was a good she was one. Uh-huh. Hot dog stand. Yeah, yeah, that's like two, three. Uh-huh. What? Yeah. Like I was saying, how come you don't love me when Will's dad came? Yeah, yeah. When they got robbed and, and Hillary came in the house, there was nothing in there. Right, and yeah. And Will no. was like, oh my God, we got robbed. And Hillary was like, what did, we, what did they take? Bitch, there's nothing in the house. Right, <laughs> no. I, I don't have to watch yeah, the She acting different. I'm sorry, that's my choice. She acting, yo, Sonny P acting different. The, son, the P and Sonny P stands for positional, because we going to switch her position. <laughs> You acting, you acting different. Uh uh-uh. uh, uh uh. I can't deal with you. <coughs> this is my last one. <coughs> all right, I got one more. I'm gonna ask it for all my cookie fans out here. One gotta go, and I don't care which cookie in this brand that you decide that you like. But I'm just talking about cookie brands. Okay, cookies. Oreos. Chips Ahoy. Or Keebler. Oh, Keebler makes those fudge stripes, don't they? Yeah. And the grasshoppers. The brand, the whole brand gotta go. Cookie brands, y'all. Say it again. Oreo. Yeah. Chips Ahoy mm-hmm. or Keebler. One got to go, y'all. You want to take a shot? Oreo. As much as I like to dunk my cookie, I know that Chips Ahoy has, like, diff- they have the soft cookies, and they have, like, the Reese's ones, and them is good, and I yeah, love... Yeah, that can't go for me. That can go for you? That can't go. Oh, yeah, like, Chips Ahoy can't go, and I like I like me some Keebler cookies. I love them fucking fudge stripes. And them grasshoppers. They are fucking... They are good. Quit playing on Keebler. Who the fuck makes, um, isn't Keebler like Nabisco? Yes. That's like a brand of Nabisco. I think you're right. They fucking make Nutty Buddies. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, motherfucking Oreo can go. They fucking make Nutty Buddies. Hey, Google. And them bitches fucking slap. Who makes Ebler cookies? Keebler? What the fuck you say? Ebler? Keebler? Yeah, but it's a Keebler. You said Ebler. Did I? Yeah, she said, who makes Ebler? Shot cookies? glass podcast. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Yo ass said Ebler cookies. Keebler? Yes, it's Nabisco. Hey, Google, who owns Keebler cookies? The Keebler company's parent organizations are Kellogg's, Ferrero Spa, and United Biscuits. So Kellogg's owns Keebler. Who the fuck make? Who makes Nabisco? Hey Google, who makes Nabisco? What? Wait, mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, after being acquired by R.J. Reynolds in 1985 and becoming part of R.J.R. Nabisco, Nabisco was sold in 2000 to Philip Morris Companies, which was the parent company of Kraft Foods. Nabisco's brands were thereafter marketed by Kraft. Kraft. Damn, Nabisco makes crap like cheese. You learn something new every day. I didn't know Kraft on Nabisco. I did not know that. And them fucking cookies is so good. Them nutter butters is so good. But yeah, Oreos. Sign up to uh, <laughs> Sunny Peas Patreon nutter butters. <laughs> yeah, shut. 
I want y'all to know <laughs> when y'all see me out here, it's it's him. Hey. It's him behind everything. It's him. Give her dollars like she a bum on the street. <laughs> I ain't no bum. I, I'm, not, I'm not calling you a bum. I'm telling people to give you um, dollars. I don't want dollars. Like I don't, a bum I don't on the want street. dollars. I want like fifty. You acting different. That Patreon is on sale for two ninety nine. No, fuck, ain't nothing two ninety nine. Ain't nothing two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Ain't nothing two ninety nine. But your mama ain't nothing two ninety nine. Now come on, mama. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. She just retired. I love you. Shout out, hell yeah. Um, we about to go to the strip club. Come on, mom. She just retired. We is going to the strip club. I might take y'all to the casino tonight, man. Don't play she with can, me. She can stay up late tonight. I might take y'all to the casino. Can I stay up late? Oh yeah, mom. Yep, I can. Shout out to my mom. Mom Dukes, man. Shout I out to you. you. You've been a very good inspirational woman, aspect, motivation, mm. everything to my life. Shout out to her. Oh, that is so fucking beautiful. She acting different. <laughs> I am so touched. That is beautiful. Dang. I wish I was mom. Next. All right. Let's go. Oh, Last. <laughs> Jealousy detector. <laughs> you are my classes? Because goodness. This is my last one. Gotta go. And let's just say you like maybe. Let me look at you. Like. What, am I black? Like 14. Making fun of my skin tone? <laughs> You're like maybe 14, 15 playing games. Okay. I play games? Between 13 and 15 video games. Maybe a little bit older. From 13 to like 18. Okay, whatever. I'm a gamer. Okay, I'm so gamer. one gotta go. I play Five Nights at Freddy's. One gotta go. Check that on the YouTube page. One gotta I go. I that show my computer because it was fucking... <laughs> yeah, that shit is scary. <laughs> it's giving my uh, Anxi- blood pressure. It, 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 it gives me anxiety. <laughs> y'all play, if y'all got a computer, you can play Five Nights at Freddy. Play that shit. Okay. Can you put me shot? Why are you doing this? Well, I'm going to ask my question. For your own troubles. What if... You like part of it. Sunny P stands for pour your own troubles. I'm asking you, can you pour me a shot? Oh my God. One gotta go. Oh, look me in my eyes when she says One she, gotta go. Yeah, because you getting full of shots. Street, NBA Street, number t- volume two. I fucks with that. We already had this debate in a, in a debate before, but Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Can't go nowhere. <laughs> Midnight Club Dub Edition. And, 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 last one, Def Jam Fight. For New York? Yes. Okay, let me, let me modify your question. Because. Okay, I, as you should. Cause me I'm personally, and y'all viewers out there, let me know if I'm wrong. But Midnight Club was not better. Would you say Midnight Club, what, Dub Edition? Yeah, I played that. Midnight Club Dub Edition was not better than Need for Speed 2 Underground. It was not. I liked. It was not. Club, dub edition. But I the fucked music, with it too. The music I, was. I fucked was with it too. So fucking fire. Sing a song right now. Something too big. Uh, too big. Didn't. Didn't. Yeah. Did, did, did. <laughs> some, some Twister was on there. It speed. was Twister on there. Need for Speed Underground too. We're riders on the storm. Mm-hmm. His brains are squirming like a toad. Mm-hmm. If you give and, this man a ride, sweet and that's, family, will that's die. over Big Timers and Twister. That song. Pre- personally, now, just for the fact that I'm adding Need for Speed Underground 2 into your One Gotta Go. Okay. With, was it, uh,. Midnight, Midnight Club. Dub Edition. Midnight Club Dub like Edition. That, that, Def Jam Fight for New York. No, but listen. That, that in itself is a one gotta go. Um, Between Midnight Dub Edition and Need for Speed Underground oh, 2. Oh, okay. So that's a whole nother so question. Since, we, since we're not talking about that. Okay. And you're talking about San Andreas with CJ. Mm-hmm. NBA Street Volume 2. NBA Street. Mm-hmm. You said you fucked with that. I did? Yes, you did. Dub Edition mm-hmm. and what else? Def Jam, Fight for New York. Fight for New York. 
Def Jam Fight for New York was the best shit. fucking game and I don't even ever play fucking game. invented. It was a shit, and I don't even play games. It was the best game ever invented. Yep. Yep. NBA Street gotta go. Shout out to you on that one. That was that was the say, best game ever. I'm gonna say NBA Street can go because I don't like basketball games. I'll watch you play anything else. I've seen a lot of games in my life because I like to watch them. Like I've watched a lot of Metal Gear. I fucking like it. Uh, what's the guy be climbing on the building and shit? I'm kind of. I want. I like the one fucking ninja game that has. Um, was it? Is it Tenchu? This is this is so. I'm so old school. What's the guy that be climbing on the buildings and shit? Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Definitely watch that. Um, did I say Metal Gear Solid? I fucking like that. I fucking fucks with that. It's a, um. Hey, I like a lot of Mortal Kombat games. It's a lot of things that like I like to watch. And I like to see the story mode. I like to see the whole point behind the game. That's why I like Grand Theft because it's like it's fucking never ending. Um, but yeah, so for me that can go as well because I don't do basketball. And that was my last game of One Gotta Go. And we are going to segue on to the next game, which is Tell Them What You Did, Hey, I'm about to get a Rodecaster Pro. I'm gonna just let y'all know that it's coming soon. Rodecaster. Okay. Have all this little extra shit. Really trying to get um a trailer with a window so I can put some air or air conditioner or something in it. And we'll have a whole trailer. It's going to be a mobile podcast. The first mobile podcast ever. I'm getting ready to speak it into existence. Go ahead, babe. I, I'm getting ready to do it. You're so awesome. I'm pulling up on niggas. Y'all ain't got to have a ride niggas. to me nowhere. Bitches. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Anybody. We're pulling up to you. Pulling up. Hop in the trailer. Hop in it. We're podcasting. Bow. One got to go. We can move on to the next game. Yeah, I was just saying that. That, oh. that was one gotta go. Oh, okay. Damn. Shot Glass Podcast. <laughs> bang, bang. How long have we been going? A minute? I mean, an hour and a half? <laughs> I said a minute. A Definitely minute. not a minute. <laughs> hour and a half. Yes. Oh, shit. Let me go Ooh. first on this one. This next game is called Would You Rather. If y'all seen the Puffin' Politics podcast, y'all know these games that we playing are originated from that Shout by me. Shout out to the bros. Live at 225. Uh, my nigga YD cooking down there at Picks at PLX. My nigga Deuce Bigelow. Being a male gigolo. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm acting different. Let me stop. (laughs) Who are you? (laughs) Damn. You and your Ray J on. Would you rather? It's a hypothetical game with hypothetical questions. I'm going to give a parental advisory. No diss to anybody if we mention an ailment, a disease, disability, disability. Anything like that. It's just it's just it hypothetical. Just a game. Hypothetical. Yes. Just hypothetical. All right. Keep that in mind. Comment below. Hashtag a hypothetical game. Would you rather and if you can't answer none of these questions, just like the last game, you can't answer, pass. you can take a shot. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. That that that's what it is about the shot glass podcast. You can't answer. If you stomp by a question, you could just See, take a shot. This, this right now makes me feel like okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Would you rather have a mullet or be bald? Can't wear a wig. Hey Google, pictures of a mullet. I know what a mullet looks like. Showing pictures that match. I know what a mullet looks like. Okay. You see this? Would you rather like this? I'm going to freak the fuck out that bitch. Some, Would y'all rather look like somebody this? Somebody is going to curl <laughs> that bitch over <laughs> and lay it to the side and it's going to work. I, I can't. I can't be bald. You know how many times you said to me just even with it being hot, with being summertime, you was like, Cut your shave hair. it off. Quit playing with me. Like, do you know how fucking stupid Everybody else wears wigs. No, everybody else wears wigs. 
extensions. You can cut your hair to this long. And then no. get get weave in your everybody who's what? here. Who okay. Are, okay, okay, okay. Let me ask she you a question. Different. Let me ask you a question. She no, different. let me ask you a question. Not in being that it's not it's, it doesn't have to be PG thirteen. So you're not gonna have nothing to pull. You just your weave. What if you pull it off? You gonna get it replaced? No, because you can done? get it braided. It's so in. Yes, it's all it. kind of shit. How long is so if I'm bald? I don't have to pull nothing. I can pull your shoulders. Sunny P on Patreon. She being nasty. She acting different, man. She acting different. She going to ask me when I'm going to have to pull. I pull it's your a, ass. It's a realistic. <laughs> and can. <laughs> and can. But it's a realistic question. I'm just asking. Yeah, if, if, I, I if can't. that's going to determine your I, answer. I can't, I can't be bald. Just, Sorry, no. Just credit me. It's a lot of females. I don't know. Yeah, I want to. I want to honestly give say. Me give I want to honestly some. say. Give me some. Black females, seventy percent of them is bald, meaning that their hair can't go past their shoulders. You got all kind of extensions, add-ons, mink lashes, eyebrows, all kind of shit that females do right now. I don't do that now. Yeah, Cause you don't got no eyebrows. She acting yeah, different. <laughs> Really? So I don't have no eyebrows, y'all. Like for real, it's no. I, I need to know. It's no eyebrows. Like really, you feel like I don't got no eyebrows? Cause you got fucking fluff pillows over here. I got caterpillars. You definitely do. They definitely furry. If I'm, I'm mad, y'all gonna know I'm mad. I'm not doing that. You'll know I'm mad if it's in my face. You'll know I'm mad, nigga. Yeah, babe. You see that? That's definition right there. HD. I thought it was your hat, but okay. Would you rather? You did not. You, oh, you um, be bald than have a mullet. Yeah, I would have a mullet than be bald. Give me the mullet. I'd rather just have my uh, side. No, I, would, I, I need my, my mullet. I need the. I need the mullet. I'm not. I, I, yeah, I can't be bald. You rather be? You said you rather be bald. No, you, I said so I rather. Have a mullet. Yes. Oh. I'm gonna curl it and. You gonna have the uh, old girl off a of rocky? What's her name that was dating Flavor Flav? I don't know, but hey. <laughs> Would you rather have one eye in the middle of your head or two noses? Give me one eye. What? Why the fuck would I need two, o- two noses? Two noses. <laughs> two noses. <laughs> I'm drunk. Um, you might could be in the Guinness Book of World Records. I'll pass. Okay. I could be in a freak show. Subscribe to my Patreon. <laughs> Pyro fifty two fifty two fifty seven. Um, okay, what you doing over there? Who knows this? I got a split tongue like a snake. Oh, okay. <laughs> All kind of shit. Up. What about you? Um, I probably would definitely take the one eye because I don't want no two noses. You have an iron. I already have yeah. a, a big enough nose. I'd be like uh, Tenchi from Dragon Ball Z. I already have a big enough nose, so I don't, I don't need to. <laughs> I'll be hitting niggas with the triangle. Shut up. You acting different. How? You just told me to shut up. Oh, anyways. Oh, come on. Anyways, I wear the pants, you wear the leggings. <laughs> and I do very well, so go ahead. Would you rather... Put a toothpick under your big toenail. Oh, why would you say that? And kick a wall. Ow, bitch. Would you rather put a toothpick under your big toenail and kick a wall? What the fuck is wrong with you? Or Oh my god, that just hurts because my toe is already swollen, y'all. Like <laughs> I was we was rearranging the bedroom <laughs> and I lifted up my foot because I didn't want to hit the edge of the bed. I was like, I already did this earlier. I already had banged my toe. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. So Disclaimer. I raised my foot over the edge of the bed and both my both my two end toes like went around the dresser part of the like, T V stand. <laughs> Disclaimer. Oh. Don't do anything <laughs> besides flip flop. Sit around the house and go to the store and some and fucking some flip flops or slides or Crocs. None of that shit. I was just trying to be helpful. None it of that shit. Hurts. 
so bad. My toe is purple. I need to get to my second part of the question. I apologize. Or have your clitoris pierced. <sighs> and for guys, that would be your nutsack. Mm. Don't be saying that. I'm not. I'm, I'm not getting. I'm not getting on her Patreon. Um, You're not about to see me out with no piercing in my testicles. No. Um. No. I'm going to get my clit pierced. I cannot. Is, you is that different? You said my foot with a. Th- a say I'm it again. Say that. the first part again. Put a toothpick in it. And a kick a wall. toothpick in it and kick a wall. Get the, oh my. Or get your clitoris pierced. I've been. Or guys, I've been with pierced. someone that got they that they got they clitoris pierced. So yeah, I'm. You I'm, acting I'm a breed. I'm a, I'm a Yay! Do- Some of you Patreon people getting their clitoris pierced. <laughs> yes. If you need support, I need a friend. Is I'm that for is you. that somebody's Patreon for real? Sunny P. You need to find out. I don't know, but you are trying to make like this a thing for me, and I'm telling you, when I get out here making like millions. Hey, I'm gonna support you. I'm gonna shout Just you. Just how you were saying, be right there I'm trying to do a podcast on Wednesday and Sunday. Need some co hosts. I'm gonna right, support you. You're gonna be right there, Bonnie. Support babe. you. Yep. Let's go. Okay. I'm not in your Patreon. Well, you, I will be the cameraman. you not putting no butt beads in me. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. I'm gonna say it's gonna be all female activities. Yeah. I'm not sucking your toes. No. I'm not doing none of that. Yeah, you're doing that. That's nasty. Sunny P stands for Patreon, porno, and photos. <laughs> porno. <laughs> Shut up and go ahead. Come on. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, when I be out here, y'all be like, oh, yeah, she real di- This is why I'm real different, because you did it. I, Come on. I will probably get my testicles pierced. Oh. I, I could not. Dennis Rodman did it. I don't know if anybody did. he? Did. Wow. Did How, he? Do I... How do you know that? She acting different. <laughs> Pyro. <laughs> Pyro stands for what the P-H-U-C-K is No, nigga. On. It doesn't stand for How none of that do shit. do you know that his... I'm How assuming, do you know? Oh, you're I'm assuming. assuming. But you said that with confidence. Like, his balls is pierced. I and specifically remember happen. a family member, and I'm not going to put him on the spot, but I remember they bought his book, and he was sitting on a, a, a chair with a basketball between his genitals. Ooh. You know what okay. I'm talking about? No. I don't know. Dennis Rodman had a book. I don't know. So he had a book and the balls were between his legs. I'm just not. Where his balls pierced that we were able to see that his balls were pierced. Unless I could put a toothpick between my right foot and then kick a wall on my left foot. (laughs) Yeah, no. (laughs) I'm not doing that. (coughs) I, I need to be able to walk. If I can't sit down fast, if I can't fuck for a couple of weeks, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Damn, that's a hard ass question. <laughs> you ain't gotta fuck for a couple. I'm not, I I gotta walk. I'm not even gonna be able to walk if I got my balls pierced. What if you have like a little like? What if a dude pierced pressure? my balls? That's probably who's gonna pierce your. Oh clit. my gosh. Okay. Um, I know. I think with you piercing your clit, you can't have sex or whatever for like six weeks. Like if you had a baby, you have to let that heal. But I would just assume like that pain is not. The Patreon as, gonna be jumping. I would just assume <laughs> that that pain is not as existing as like he's kicking. A, oh, I, it hurts just thinking about it. it. It really does. But does that warrant getting your private part pierced? Question to you, cause you're a man. How would you feel if you're down near? Ah. Uh, and, and, and it's a, it, it, no, and it's like a little diamond piercing to give you like a little thing. You acting? Different. Give you a little you feng act, shui. Hey, she acting different. I'm just asking a question. I ain't looking no if, goddamn. If it was, hey. I ain't say you had to look. I'm saying if it was something there to give I a little feng shui. I'm not looking no surgical steel. <laughs> That's like you go into a living room and you see a chandelier. It's like the chandelier. Ping. It's not. 
It's like going to a doctor's mm-hmm. office for it's going like it's like going to a dentist's office and like you want your back tooth pulled or your front tooth pulled. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel. Like, I just feel like any man on a given night that they've had, you know, a little liquor, maybe a little honey. I'm kicking the wall. Maybe a little honey, honey packet stuck in that liquor. You gonna? I'm eat, kicking eat, the wall. Okay, we'll kick that wall. I don't change my. Uh, would you rather? It's probably like once or twice now. Do I gotta take shots because of that? You did. You didn't twice. call it. I called it. So yeah, be negated. Real. Yeah, no, be real about your shit. On your shit. Stand on your shit. Yes, you did. So you should take like maybe at least a half a shot. You definitely did change your answer. And even though you called it and that's real nigga shit, shout out to you. Um, Yeah, go ahead. Would you rather... She acting different. <laughs> drink a glass of Purell? I can see that. <laughs> or a glass... I was a weird kid. <laughs> or a glass of your Versace, Versace, Versace. Cologne? Yes, perfume. Oh no! I cannot drink a glass. Where the fuck did you get this question from? Why does this matter? I just need to know your source because I know that's such of a difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a whole a whole shot because I know that's some shit that Facebook. you cannot make it was a up yourself. Question. What? Not, I can't drink no fucking glass of cologne. And you would rather drink some Purell? It's I all thick. Would, it's all I thick probably, and yeah, yo, she alcohol. She's different, yo. <coughs> it's a whole shot. I'm not answering that question or the questions that I didn't answer. Shot Glass Podcast, man. <coughs> Get your hard ass motherfucking questions. You can't answer. It's okay. You don't have to answer the question. You got to take a motherfucking shot. I'm here now. Yeah. I'm not drinking no Versace Cologne or no Purell. Okay. Here we are. Yeah. I probably would take the fucking perfume because it's like a, it's, it's thinner based, but it's, it's still disgusting. I'm still going to fucking be in a hospital throwing it fucked up somewhere. What if it's like some cheap <laughs> dollar store body spray? <laughs> I don't know. Some bod. Whatever. Victoria. Vic, uh, Vic, Victor- Victoria. Victoria. I'm drunk. Who is Victoria? She acting different. She's like oh, Zena. Who is this? Is she, next is she to like me? Zena the ninja, the warrior? Or oh, that could be a thing. Oh, okay. Victoria. Victoria. Secret. I made it work for you. See. Yeah, yo, she acting different. This is incredible. <laughs> 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 this is incredible. Wow. B- bath and body works don't taste like it smell. None of that shit do. First of all, I have a berry waffle cone body wash that very much so smells like berry waffle cone. What did I just say? It don't taste like it smell. It might. I don't care how much shit you put on. It's not going to taste like it smell. It might. No. Ow. That shit going to taste like the shit that's in it. Glycerin, so. isopropyl, yeah. Iso- shut up, <laughs> <laughs> alcohol, <laughs> all that. You, hey, you acted okay. different. <laughs> it's on me or you. You just asked me that question. Yes, I did. So, I am drunk right now. So this is. It's the vanilla in here that got you. I'm telling you, it's, it's real. Ouch. It's real sweet. Hey yo, a one eight tequila, man. That shit, that should have fucked you up. Um. Definitely. Let's let's try to speed through this. You just took that shot I poured you? Or are you just pouring another shot? I'm pouring another shot. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just waiting, but it's, it's already poured. Go ahead. Would you rather have a vagina on your forehead <laughs> or a penis on your back like a stegosaurus? So I can get forehead for real? <laughs> yes. Yes, right there in the middle of your head. Oh, it's a vagina God. with the clitoris, all of that, or a penis on your back, like a stegosaurus. I already know what she gonna go with. She acting different. I got the hiccups like a fucking drunk ass uncle. I mean, I already have a vagina. 
You want a penis on your back? <laughs> hey, yo, she acting different. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, she, hey, yo, subscribe to her OnlyFans. I'm about to leave her after this. <gasps> she gonna need real money. I am just playing. She gonna need real money. I'm just playing. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that would be a funny ass answer. Um, I'm gonna definitely take the vagina on my forehead because I can get forehead. Subscribe to her OnlyFans. Oh, I mommy. probably will be shout out to my winning. I pro- shout out to who? Mom. Really? I'm acting different. <laughs> Mommy won't always be in. You yeah. better not be. Let me see. I'll kill every motherfucker what? to subscribe. <laughs> really? So you gonna put Yes! Me, you gonna put me out there, but your mom can't be on only You fans. are my significant I other. I don't I don't want I nobody want looking at my mom. You sure want nobody looking at me? No, everybody can look at you. That's why I'm with you because I looked at you and I'm pretty sure everybody else did. Really? Yes. I'm not for everybody. Yeah, but you are not for nobody. I'm just for you. Like, yeah, how dare you say such same... a thing? Okay, see, Pyro stands for, I yeah, don't yo, even she know. She acting different. What, no, you're you acting, act, you different. acting different. So you're just saying, like, I'm a fucking prostitute? Like, I can just be out here for sale for anybody? I'm for you. Oh, only fans of Patreon. <laughs> Who, what is Patreon? Like, is that our only fan? Subscribe to her. What the fuck? Subscribe is that? to her. I'm starting her Patreon. She don't even know it. I run the motherfucker. Butt beads, feet fetish. Uh, I don't think I would like no butt beads. It could be like a finger or something, but it can't be no butt no. beads. That's nasty. Why are you acting like you ain't never did it before? She not no bu- First of all, first of all, not no butt beads. That's nasty. You're acting different. We're going to go to the store. You are, she acting different. She act like she never did the butt bees. We go, mm, hey, yeah. You know, mm. Let me tell y'all. Sunny, I ain't cross promoting. Let me tell. Let me tell y'all. Mm. Sunny P can stand for a lot of things, but it's not about to stand for no bees because I don't know nothing about that. I know a lot of things, but I don't know about no bees. Yo, she you wanna keep playing with me. She acting different. You wanna keep playing with me now? You it's wanna only... go get some after this? <laughs> Don't act like we Subscribe to me. Don't act like we her. Okay, just let her bitch breathe. Oh, okay? shit. Just let, me, let him oh, breathe. Oh, shit. Next, would you rather. You're going to get her the 46 inch butt. <laughs> Next, would you rather. I don't personally know. I'm just saying shit. Disclaimer. Y'all know he lying, right? Hey, yo, I'm acting different. Hey, listen, you fuck? real different because you know. <laughs> huh. Next question, would you rather? I got hoochies out of these shorts on and everything Do today. You? Okay. No, I don't. Damn. Hey, you have to do it. Would you? Stop sticking ra- your tongue out on the... <laughs> would you? Hey, yo. Would you rather? We're going to cut this shit short. <laughs> <laughs> you matching and stuff? You cute, babe. I'm always matching. Hey, yo. T-shirt king. Graphic T king, man. Graphic T king in this bitch. What is this? I don't give a fuck if we do a thousand episodes. You're not going to see me wear the same T-shirt. Graphic T king. You're probably not. Graphic T king. You're probably not. And if you do, he owe you some money. Um... Would you rather... In real life, that's different. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to wear this shirt tomorrow. (laughs) It's still clean. Would you rather... Stay with your ex for a year. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. No, no, no. I don't even want to hear what you guys say. Go to jail, or or a year without internet. Internet can go. You want to stay with your ex for a year just so you can have internet? Like you couldn't stream. You couldn't do none of this stuff. None of, none of this. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Hey, yo, she acted different. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's shout out to you, babe. Fuck the internet. I'm gonna give you a high five. I don't know what it's for. Because you ain't you go you gonna go without internet. You ain't going back to your ex. I don't go back, I go forward. I don't care. I don't go back. I come on, stop acting twelve on this motherfucker back. Hey yo, hey yo. Sunny P stands for Prima Jew. <laughs> Sometimes. Next, would you rather is what you rather do? Hmm. Oh, my ass! <laughs> First of all, my ass. 
She wasn't trying to skip this question. Hey, yo, you acting different. What the fuck? <laughs> For the record, you should know that I'm not about to go back to my ex. So I you would mean, be. What you only got? One lover? First of all, we have like high data speed. I don't need no internet. Yo, you acting different. Just a moment. We got high data speed. <laughs> I don't need no fucking internet. Oh, shit. I'm cool. Next, it's on you. You are Liddy. I am. And hey, we can right in this shit. I'm drunk. I don't want to be seeing her streaming no more. Sorry to my fans and the viewers, etc., etc., cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. I'm trying to get out here. It's still daylight where we from. <laughs> I'm not about to be trying to be seeing here too. Fucking podcast until they get dark. <laughs> One gotta go. Podcasting <laughs> or kicking it when it's light outside. <laughs> I'm acting different. <laughs> I love my viewers, my fans. I'm not even gonna call y'all fans. I'm, I love my viewers and supporters. And participants. And participants. Yes, thank you. I'm not, Shout I'm not, out to y'all. I'm not calling any, anybody that fucks with me a fan. Because I feel like that's disrespectful to y'all. Yeah. Y'all supporters and participants. And we are thankful for you because without y'all, wouldn't be no us. Wouldn't be no us. So thank you. Call 90 Little Studio LLC, man. We, we, we coming. We're about to have no, the mobile podcast. I'm drunk. This is going to be my last question. I'm going to say these other ones for next week. We all look. I, I, we, <laughs> we are looking for co-hosts. She probably got like. 294 friends on Facebook. <laughs> let me first of all, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Pyro saying that doesn't I'm bother me different. because I don't fuck with a lot of people. So if you are even accepted or even my friend on Facebook, that means a lot because like I go to people's page, I see who the fuck we friends with, I see if we got mutual friends, I see what the fuck your page is about before I even accept you. So, yes, me having 294, if that's even the case, I probably have more than that. He just being corny as hell. But if, different. if you're on there, shout out to you because I don't, I ain't just for everybody. I don't play with people. The fuck? You don't want that for everybody. Am shout I out to you. Really, Sonny? Shout out to you, Am Pyro. I really, Sonny? Shout out to you, Pyro. It's not an E in my name, so I'm on Ready E for everybody. Yo, she acting different. After this, I don't know what you about to do. <laughs> we about to be out of here. What the fuck you think this is? <laughs> you about to be on Patreon. <laughs> and you gonna be right there with me. I'm at the I casino. Know, that is, yeah, we right there. With each other. Getting sexed by the beaches. Because that's your drink. Would you rather have six toes on both feet? Or six fingers on both hands? Oh, give me a toe. Already got five and they ugly, so yeah. <laughs> I'll take another one. I ain't having no fucking. We got Sasquatch over here. I ain't having no six fucking we got, fingers. We got Sasquatch over here. <laughs> I'm not having six fingers. We got Sasquatch what you over gonna here. Do? I want to be with you. Take them oh, toes because you can cover I them can't up. can't wear no Air Maxes or you no Harachis. You can cover them up. That's the whole point. You got another question or do you want to yes, say Yes, I have that? another question. She done put her Fashion Nova glasses on. <laughs> Ain't she? No, these are, these are probably Walmart. I'm acting and different. And they got the, the little, you know, peachy motherfucking. I am different. I'm drunk. Yes. Don't agree with me. I'm not asking you to. Would you rather? Would I rather what? Punch a baby. No. Or eat a kitten. I probably ate many cats in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I probably ate probably over a dozen cats uh, in my life. Shit. This is a shot glass podcast. <laughs> I'm going to let you go ahead and answer. You agree? Yeah. <laughs> no baby. I've probably oh ate a God. dozen kittens in my life. Shut up. Sweet and sour kittens. <laughs> orange. Orange. Orange kittens. <laughs> Bourbon kitty. <laughs> Bourbon kittens. With a noodle. I'm not punching no human baby. 
<laughs> when it me personally, oh my not God, to funny. not Sorry. to extend this, but me personally, when it comes to human versus animal, mm -hmm. I'm never gonna compromise a human for an animal. You could be like, get your teeth pulled or kill six cats. I'm killing six cats. I don't want this nigga to have his tooth pulled. I mean, unless he's in excruciating pain or some shit like that. I'm never going to substitute a human being for an animal. Okay. Yeah. I, pro I, I probably unwillingly ate a bunch of cats. I, mm -hmm. Hey, I'm not going to be on her Patreon or her OnlyFans without eating cat. <laughs> I'm acting different. It is. <laughs> hey, man. Shot Glass Podcast. It's your boy, Pyro. It's your girl, Sunny P. Sunny P. Subscribe okay. to her Patreon. $39.99. Okay. <laughs> we out here, different. bro. Hey, yo. She acting yes. different. Man, that shit, three ninety. dollars it's thirty nine ninety nine. Eight plus tax. Listen, three nine nine. She got the numbers right. We doing freaky fetishes. Let's go. I don't have nothing to do with that. Yes, she does. Subscribe. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, no, she's not. Yes, I am. No, she's yes, not. Yes, I am. Cause I'm a lady. No. <laughs> Shot glass podcast. <laughs> It's your boy Pyro. <laughs> your girl Sunny P. Would you end this shit? We, we are, are man. dead. We are dead. No, you're done. Done. You're done. Done.